There was no collusion at Wantage Road, and so Northamptonshire and Glamorgan played out a tame draw on the last day of their weather-affected LV County Championship match. Only 83 overs have been possible throughout the first three days, and so the last one began half an hour late, with Northamptonshire on 128 for five in reply to the Welshman's 233. Adam Rossington resumed his innings on a runner ball 25 and continued to press on first thing to try to close the gap between the two teams. The former Middlesex man's 50 arrived off his 53rd ball and was completed with his ninth boundary. Rossington has become a useful contributor in the middle order and was playing in this match as a batsman only with his partner at the other end, David Murphy, as the keeper. Murphy is a man happy to bat anywhere in the order and in at number seven on this occasion. He helped add 76 runs for the sixth wicket, taking the total to 179, only to lose Rossington at the other end for 59 as Dewey Penryn Jones struck for a third time on debut, David Lloyd with the catch at mid-off. Both of these teams are playing to try to finish in third place in the second division and Rory Kleinfeldt and Murphy took Northamptonshire to 200 to at least register a batting bonus point in this contest. Kleinfeldt then lost his leg stump to Michael Hogan, the bowler with his 45th championship wicket in what has been another fine season for the Australian. Kleinfeldt departed with his seven runs to his name and with his side still trailing by 33. Murphy then took his side to the lunch break on 209 for 7, the Scot on 35. He was now with Ollie Stone, who helped take his side into the lead in the afternoon. Stone making 20 of an 8th wicket partnership of 37, but his day was to turn out badly as he later pulled up after bowling only 7 balls in Glamorgan's second innings, holding his side. This coming just a day after he was named in the England Performance Programme squad. Before all that, he was held at leg slip, eventually off the bowling of Andrew Salter, the batsman leaving with his side four runs to the good. Azarella, like Stone, also made 20 and in doing so frustrated the acting Glamorgan captain Graham Wagg, who exacted his revenge by having Azarella taken behind by Chris Cook, who now had four catches behind the stumps in the innings. Murphy, whose contract runs out at North Ants at the end of this season, went on to make a half-century in what could yet be his last match for his county at Wantage Road. It was a good one too, using up 94 balls, his 6-4 allowing him to raise his bat. He was left stranded on 58 when Richard Gleeson's debut championship innings was ended on two, with an edge drive off Wag landing in the hands of James Kettleborough. Northamptonshire all out for 278. That had them 45 runs ahead, and 20 of those had been knocked off the deficit when makeshift opener Salter nicked a cut off Azarella to Kleinfeld after Stone had gone off. Murphy then took a catch to remove Kettleborough for 14, Gleeson the successful bowler on this occasion. And Glamorgan were left on 39 for 3 when Colin Ingram fell to the same bowler, LBW the decision as the batsman also departed for 14. So it was left to Anirin Donald and Cook to see out the time that remained. Donald used it well. He hit Rob Keogh for this six and struck five other fours too in his unbeaten 40. Cook had got to 22 and the captain shook hands to finish off a match that will be remembered by very few. Essex's win up the M1 at Leicester means that they are now 16 points clear of Northamptonshire in third place and 17 ahead of Glamorgan with just one more game to play. From this match, the home team took 10 points to the visitors' 9 as Glamorgan ended on 99 for 3.